In this video, I'm going to show you how to save a project in Microsoft Make Code. So I've got this project that I've been working on. I'm not quite finished it, but it's the end of the lesson and I need to save it so I can continue working on it. So in order to save this project, actually my Microsoft Make Code automatically saves all of my projects if I'm using the online editor. Down here you can see there's that little save button. I don't even need to press that. What I need to do is, or what I'm going to do is I'm just going to name name this project so I will be able to find it easy and I will be able to get back to it. If I click the save button, all that's going to do is it's going to download the .hex file and I don't even need to do that so that was unnecessary for me to actually click that because just by renaming it, it automatically saves the, the project. So how do I find it again? So if I go home, it's the next day, I've just logged into makecode.microbit.org and I'll see that the very first thing I've got here is my projects and there it is. So it's in chronological order, in the order that you've opened them recently uh, and I can find board game and pick up where I left off. Let's say I was working on something a couple of weeks ago and I can't quite remember where where it is and, and what it was called. So if you scroll through your list of recent projects, you can actually, if it's not in here, you can go view all your projects. So you can go back in time and see all of the different projects. So if you know how many days ago it was, then you can quickly and easily go back in here, click on it, go open, and you will pick up where you left off. If that's not the correct name for it, you wanna change the name, simply rename it, click out of the space and it saves your work as you go.